So today we're talking about adding timestamps to your YouTube videos because we've all been victims or victimers of extremely long YouTube videos that go far too long than they deserve. And a lot of these videos, there's only like maybe a minute of actual content and it's just like 20 minutes of filler before then. And you actually scrub through the video looking for like a sign or an image of where the actual video may start. But no, it doesn't happen because they're talking about their mom, their dad, their boss, their teacher, their cat, their hamster, why they like their dog eating peanut butter off their toes. Are you still with me? Good job. I'm next. Hey, it's Low for Low Nose here to help teach and inspire you through audio, video, and tech. All right, so why would we want to put timestamps in our YouTube videos? Well, let's just say you have a video that covers three wildly different topics, and you want to give the option to your viewer to actually go to jump straight to those different topics. Well, you can do that, no problem. First thing you wanna do is go to your channel, go to the description of the video, and go ahead and press edit. Now, make sure to actually note the actual times of the timestamps that you want to create. Now, once you have these times, go into the description of your video and place those noted number times within your description. Feel free to leave a description before or after each timestamp. And the timestamp consists of the minute, the colon, and the second mark. Now, you can either leave it on top or somewhere near the top uh, just to give a good reference to your viewers of where the time is gonna take them to. Also, it might be a good idea to leave a little graphic within the video letting them know that there are timestamps available down below. Once you do that, go ahead and press save and your numbers will now turn into hyperlinks or your YouTube timestamps. Now, as a viewer, you can actually leave your own timestamp as a comment. Go ahead, make a note within the video of the timestamp that you want to create. Go ahead, write it down in the comments section, minute, colon, seconds, and go ahead and just press comment, and then you are good to go. Now, your timestamp will be available for all to see and use. Now, here's a really cool feature of the timestamp. YouTube loves videos that gets high engagement, and high engagement will actually increase the rank of your video so it can be suggested more and get more views and all that stuff. Well, by creating the timestamps and using them, it actually dramatically increases the engagement of your videos. Now, I've actually heard that using the timestamps will actually double your views. When they originally click on the video, that's one view, and they click on this timestamp, that'll actually count as a second view, potentially doubling the views of your video. And of course, increasing the ranking of your video. Now, hold your horses just because you can potentially get double the views doesn't mean you're getting double the monetization. Plus, like I said before, this is just something I... I heard. I've actually tried it and I have not seen the actual numbers going up. And if maybe this is something that did before that did happen before in the past and YouTube kind of squirted away, it is what it is. But either way, it's great for engagement. Now, the only downside about this is that these links don't work on mobile devices like your cell phone or your tablet. So what are you gonna do? That sucks. So besides that, it's a really cool feature. So go ahead, get creative, have some fun with your timestamps. If you feel like your video is getting a little too long, do everyone the favor and leave the timestamp. If you're watching the video, go ahead, Create your own timestamp within the comment section. If you see someone say something funny or do a little silly face like that, eh, leave the timestamp down there. Let everyone know. All right, guys, if you like the video, go ahead, leave a like. If you loved it, feel free to subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Leave some timestamps down there of any little silly, funny, or crazy face that you may catch me in. If you're a content creator yourself and you're trying to get the best video or audio for your videos, go ahead, check out the description down below. I have a list of all the gear that I like to use for my videos. So until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.